Former Attorney General Ramesh Lawrence Miraj takes up the fight of former High Court Judge and Chief Magistrate Marcia Ayres Caesar. At a press conference, Mr. Miraj said the statements put out by the Judicial and Legal Services Commission in the past weeks have prejudiced the public's view of Ayres Caesar. He also calls for the JLSC to reconsider its decision. Liran Brummel has more. It seems as though Mrs. Ayres Caesar has retained Ramesh Lawrence Miraj as one of her attorneys, though his statement, he said, is of his own accord. Mr. Maraj deconstructed a number of statements put out in the public by the Chief Justice through the Judicial and Legal Service Commission, such as the assertion that Ayers Caesar misled the bodies on her workload. Mr. Maraj said the Chief Justice and the JLSC have access to the Chief Magistrate's workload at all times. It means, therefore, that having regard to the powers and functions of the office holder of Chief Justice, the Chief Justice at all times would have access to all information regarding the workload of magistrates and judges, their parthood matters, and their outstanding judgments. The Chief Justice would have access to the statistical data of cases pending before magistrates and judges, and it is always open to him as Chief Justice at any time and as Chairman of the JLSE to get access or to obtain any information of any outstanding work which the Chief Magistrate had before she was appointed a judge. He continued, No reasonable person would believe that if the JLSC wanted to get information about the outstanding workload of the then Chief Magistrate, it could not have got that information from its official records. No reasonable person would also believe that even if it got information from any other source, including the then Chief Magistrate, that it could not verify that information against its own official records. He said the JLSC therefore cannot properly and in law blame a judicial appointee for not doing its duty to acquire relevant information in respect of a decision it intends to take. Mr. Maraj is of the view that Mrs. A. S. Caesar could have, as a High Court judge, completed the part heard matters in the Magistrates Court. I have not seen any law which prohibited High Court judge Madam Justice Marcia Caesar, A. Caesar, after being appointed a judge to be able to finish her magistrate's court cases. A judge is higher up in the pecking order than a magistrate, and therefore as a judge, she would have a higher jurisdiction than a magistrate, and consequently could have continued to complete her parted cases in the magistrate's court if that was required by the JLSE. And he puts a few questions to the JLSC. The question which has to be asked, therefore, is if the effect of what the JLSC did was to purportedly revoke the appointment of the judge, why did the JLSC decide to do that? And if it purportedly dismissed the judge, why it had to do that? In any event, it was open for the JLSC for instance, to postpone the date of the appointment of the judge to take effect until she completed her parthood matters in the magistrate court, or not to take effect for a period of one month or six weeks, which can be given to her to complete her matters. He then pondered if the chief magistrate was forced out of her job. Whether a letter of resignation of the judge prepared by officials at the High at the Hall of Justice for her signature and signed at the Hall of Justice by the judge in these circumstances could have any legal effect. Could such a letter of resignation in the circumstances be conclusive in law? Could the JLSC, by virtue of this letter, have purportedly removed the judge? Under these circumstances, Mr. Maraj believes that a judge in Trinidad and Tobago cannot lose his or her job. And he also said the statement that questions Mrs. A. S. Caesar's dismissal of 16 cases in March in Cuba before she became a High Court judge was irrelevant and meant to cast doubt. In any event, the JLSC did not conduct any investigation into these cases and it was not in a position to make a proper assessment. It would have been known by the JLSC that adding these comments in its press release, the JLSC was likely to have prejudiced the minds of the public against 
Madam Justice, Marcia is Caesar. Mrs. A.S. Caesar remains suspended from sitting in any magisterial court. Given the evidence, Mr. Murad said he believes the JLSC should let good sense prevail and reverse its decision. He said he stands ready to challenge their decision. Leron Brummel, C News.